this hoe. My man Remo, Remo 600, tapping in. 60 Remo. My man 600 Breezy. And we got an added bonus. Mimo 600 on the couch with him. I, I mean, gang in this bitch. Why wouldn't gang bit. come with me, you know? We out here. <laughs> Have a good time. We just did an interview with him. Now we got you on the couch. Big old woods getting rolled. Oh, ready for the shenanigans. Get the ashtray in the middle. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Anything about it. Ready, well, ready for this. I'm ready for Everything sounds gay when I say yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. It's about big woods getting rolled. I can't do that. Put my <laughs> hand down, fuck. <laughs> like, come on, fuck. I don't I even want to. It's coming up on it. I didn't even think like that. You must. You got help. What? <laughs> he traumatized. What you do to him? Out of here. You was talking that bullshit, wasn't you? We were doing some glizzy talk, you know, a little bit glizzy talk. Glizzy. Nothing too crazy. Only yeah, glizzies glizzy. I know is the ones that go, boop, folding them, boop, boop, making that shit. That's the only Glizzy we know today. You don't know Aunt Glizzy? Nah, who the f is that? He's a virtual crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he asked me that the other day. Oh, fold up. Nah, I don't know who that is for real. Only Glizzy. I don't, I don't be tapped in there. I don't know. I don't be really. It may be a lot of like My internet bitch. shenanigans and shit. I don't pay attention. In he so from DC. Really. He be on there trolling right. and shit. I'm funny of, as hell, though. I think I think I ran across it YouTube, but I just kept scrolling. He's definitely funny. He be funny. arguing with on live and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he refused to do a no jumper interview because he said that the platform is too gang related. We got too many gang members. He don't want to be around it. He said it ain't safe. Like what are you talking about? He from DC. I'm it saying. ain't safe where he at. That White House. It's treacherous out there. This <laughs> shit going on. For real. Yeah, he's he's trying to figure his life out. I don't know, but like, why, why he he wouldn't come sit down with us, but he'll go do a four hour interview with academics and talk about everything under the sun. I don't know what he thinks is really going on here. You do, do you feel like there's a dangerous element going on here? You see, all the employees are square as fuck, right? <coughs> We're not employing <coughs> fucking OG Lokester to come run the cash register. It's good security and shit. Yeah, we got like hella security. It's great. You, you on feel safe? Yeah, That's I'm, all I need to I'm know. Always, you feel safe? I'm always good. We good regardless. Okay. <laughs> you could. Your shit could have been. A, I came when it was in the trenches somewhere where it was homeless people Downtown. right next to your shit. Well, don't say like by myself. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. By well, myself. Yeah. Was that when they like, broke in that car? For real. He's huh? definitely probably the first like drill yeah, rapper that I interviewed back in the day. Really. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure. He was like the first that I seen on No Jump. Yeah, how did that yeah. even happen? The first interview with y'all, like how you get in tune? Cause I don't even remember. Me neither, but I, I think somebody recommended like, hey, you gotta tap in with this dude. Sour I wasn't, Matt. I, Sour Matt. There you Sour, go. That's my Sour boy. Sour Matt Boom. running around. That's my boy. That's Sour. If you ain't been in LA and you know what you know, you know Sour Matt. He that guy. Like that's that's how that. Cause dude, I was running with him and he was putting the plays together. For yeah, me. he had yeah. like promotional deals going with all these different companies from Backwoods to a bunch of yep. weed companies and, and I had shit. All so that, yep. he was just using that shit to just be around all these rappers and, and give them product he, and do he good, a good shit dude, for the brands. Yeah, he's a good, good guy. Dude. Like good dude. I ain't he, seen him in a minute. Like he, he overseas right now. Doing what? Yeah, that, um, I don't even know. I don't even know. But I just every time I come out here, I check in with him. What's up, bro? Where you at? Yeah, he, but this time he, he used to be in but Barcelona, and I think he told me that somebody that's, tried I to think kill he, him he in from, Barcelona. Yeah, he or from something. over there somewhere. Really? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. That, that, that that's why he came back over here and stayed for so long. He almost got marked out. Yeah, there some shit. It was some. It was some weird shit. I'm gonna ask him because he was wearing chains and shit. Yeah, for sure. He got. And, yeah, he's smart. Think. He got paid. Yeah. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So what's going on in the life of uh, Six Hundred Breezy these days? Before we dive into a bunch of topics, <sighs> I'm living, man. I'm living. I'm living the life I know. I'm off parole. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm living. I swear to God. Like, I'm I'm doing better than what I was. I went through all type of traumatic shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Been to jail multiple times. All type of shit, man. Right now, I'm I'm doing me. I'm good. I'm getting some money, bro. Because you've been free for what, a year? I, yeah, I've been free for, shit, it's, it'll be two, two in, years, right? in March. Yeah. It'll be two. Yeah. And, and. This time around was jail like a wake up call for you? Like, oh, I gotta clean my shit up and start moving a different Man, way. Man, hell yeah, they left me in the hole, damn near the whole time. Because of shit you said in your Vlad I interview, swear right? Oh God, I, I was basically telling like, yeah, I'm yeah, this shit's sweet. We got Xboxes and real food and shit in here, bro. I got the CEOs doing this, doing that. I ain't think I was gonna go back. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna walk that little paper down. Man, they got up with me. Caught me, caught me in Alabama and came and got me. They spent, they wasted money to come get me just to show, like, nah, we need him gone and we we gonna leave him in the hole Damn. and violate his rights and show him, bitch ass. I'm going and tell us, <laughs> making our jail look sweet. It, it is different bro, when shit. they make the, their life's work to get you locked up. <laughs> they got it set out for. A so I don't even play why I don't even I don't want to fly over Iowa on the plane. I'm cool. Yeah, so where you stay at these days? Oh uh, yeah, I'm back in Chicago right oh, now. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I've been in Milwaukee though. Like okay. I really, really live in Milwaukee though. So I've been in Milwaukee just 
in the the they scenery crazy. I fuck with everybody. It's like Chicago, uh-huh. but they just they different. They it's like they a down south Chicago type shit. They a little country with it, but they got they own everything. They own dance, own slang. They own just everywhere. Like I fuck with them. I fuck with them. So I really been out there. But you know that's an hour away from Chicago. So well, what makes I'm you right want to spend time there as opposed to the rack? Cause it's like shit. I'm really I'm out the way. Mm. Like I ain't got no beef with niggas in Milwaukee, and I ain't got to look over my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm gonna do that regardless, I'm gonna look over my. You know, like we straight, but I'm cool out there. I got ain't number love. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't went out there and stepped on no toes, did no funny shit. You know, like I'm straight. So mm. like I'm good out there. My mama out there in Wisconsin somewhere. She ain't in Milwaukee, but she in Wisconsin though. She ain't me. What's my the sister, state of the rap? You said who? The state, the state, of Chicago Illinois. these days, like just just how you feel about where Chicago is at as a not just a, a city, but like as a music hub and you know a street hub and everything. Like, what's your perspective on how Man, Chicago's we doing? we we got it like how Atlanta used to have it, mm. but like like people try to make it look look at it and see. But if you name all the artists, like Chicago got some of the hottest artists, and we got a wave that still won't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like you see, some of the artists they ain't. They still doing drill, but they turn it into some other shit, and they they still got there. This shit, Chicago, this Chicago shit gonna go forever. Mm. Cause you no know, niggas that's at home and living regular and grew up nice kids and shit, they love that street shit. They want they wanted to live. They think that shit cool, so they gonna look into it and be like, oh yeah, they killing each other. They oh they gang banging, they throwing signs, they getting high speed chases. They got these type of guns. They think that shit cool. They not knowing we. We done went through it. Like, but, like, but. the new generation of Chicago rappers, <coughs> I mean, there, there's definitely a bunch of popular rappers, but at the same time, it does feel like the era of the early 2010s, there was so much attention on the city, and there was so many crazy personalities, and it kind of feels like we might never see that again because people have just kind of learned their lesson about putting all this crazy shit on front it street. A, you would never, ever see that again because... It'll never be, it's like that shit, Big Me said, it'll never be another drill wave. Right. It'll never be another, like that shit, the the way that that shit presented itself from everybody that played they part even, and even the ops. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit was, like for a for hundred years later, they still gonna talk about that shit. That's gonna be an era in hip hop and music that the Chief Keeps, the Lil Durks, even the ops, even Lil Jojos, even Ducks, all that, all that shit is legendary. Mm. L.A. Capone, legendary. You feel me? Like Fredo Santana, legendary, bro. Like Juice World, legendary. Like this Chicago. When I can keep keep going, Kanye West. I can keep going like Chicago. Let can't ever ever ever. And Kanye wasn't even a part of the drill wave. He mm. just was a pioneer in Chicago. But speaking of the drill wave and just the. Artists, and, man, is you can't you? Can, I don't think not, nothing nothing ever top it. But who? No, no, no New York wave, no LA mm. wave, no no nowhere can ever top a Chicago. How because Chicago can. New York drill is really popping, but at the same time, but it's a it's a I f- with that do New York drill, but it's a copycat move, mm. just like UK drill. It's called they put the name that they created for us on the end of their shit. Right. So it's like that's like if somebody make another platform and it'd be like, uh, not no jumper. They still getting looks off y'all shit. They There's still doing it. You, yeah, you feel me? Like exactly. So exactly. So you feel me? So you know, I, I'm on my bullshit too. I'm gonna throw it out there. But right. <laughs> but yeah, like you know what I'm saying? It's like so if anybody doing drill music, they gotta know where that shit came from. But they doing. They feel like like I don't feel like they wrong for doing it. They can do it for the fact that they gang banging and shooting and doing shit in their hoods too. It's the same shit. Like mm-hmm. it's street everywhere. So it's just something about like the fact that just as an example, we did a THF Bezu interview. They got millions and millions and millions of views. And that's a dude who, like, realistically has only had a handful of songs over the years. But the people, the Chicago fan base. It ain't about the song. Is so crazy. Dirk, that, Dirk been screaming his name exactly. since he first, 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 2012, 13. Yes. You don't know? Like, like what, you, what, what, you don't know? Baby, you feel me? That's all the way 2000. Yeah, that's but like, that, that level of intrigue by the public of wanting to really understand a three-hour interview from this dude who's not the star musician but was always around for all this crazy shit, that says a lot about how hardcore the Chicago fan base is. That's what they, they want to know. They like, no, he going to tell us some shit. It's about who the star is. Right. It's about who in the streets, man. For real, though. Look, for that's real. the star. For real. I don't know if we have that with like Bronx drill or Brooklyn drill. Like, there's a lot of big artists who came nah, from that. Shorty, nah. them in the streets for real, though. All them little. 
going for, uh Fed and getting Ricos and oh, shit. Yeah. Some see like and they they in New, you know, New York was mm-hmm. Chicago in the night like in the nineties type shit. Mm-hmm. They was doing that. So now shorty them, I be in you know I be in Harlem and, and Polo Grounds and shit. So it just be shit going on. It's happening out there. Like they turned up a little bit more than a few years when I was first going. So now they really they shorty them gang banging and shooting and shit too. Besides, That's why they, besides you know, the Chicago drill wave. Well, I know you said that uh. You know that's the birthplace of it. What other scene that you respect the most out of like all the other drill? Like you know, UK got the drill shit going. Me, Florida got me, drill. Me personally, I I ain't never just because the fact that it's drill. I can't say I really sat and just listened to people's songs that did drill. So I can't tell you a, a UK artist name. I can only tell you probably a few New York drill artist name because of I've seen shit on YouTube about like probably conspiracies and Ricos and shit yeah. like that. Like. Like like Sleepy Hollow and them niggas mm-hmm. and shit like that. You feel me? I don't really, yeah. I ain't into it because that ain't my type of music. Because you watch it anyway. and it's interesting, right. but it's like another fucking world because you don't really know all these characters. It's kind of especially shit. the UK shit is weird. Oh, they yeah, only, yeah. They, it's weird. They sound different and all type. They don't even got guns and shit. Bro. Like, yeah, each other. That's, <laughs> yeah, bro. That's, about Florida though. Right. Like, you see, you see, Florida. Man. Like I like I really that ain't my type of music. I don't like music with melodies and shit. Like I'm really like an old school mixtape head type of. That's why I'm into Milwaukee music so tough, cause they rapping about trapping and they for that's what they they fluently talking about that. So it's like that's the shit that I I relate to. But I like any that's fake singing or doing that, like it's I heard they music, yeah. But yeah. me personally, I just don't listen to it. You know, what I'm drill saying? scenes <coughs> out of the U S. It's like Chicago, New York, and then everybody else is like I also ran. You got Florida a little bit. But yeah, they, they, Detroit they, got like a Philly little bit of a drill, a drill scene. scene going on. Okay, but yeah, it's, Detroit it's definitely minimal. got a little bit of a drill Jeez, scene. So Chicago is f- gigantic. Like, New York yeah. is pretty g- be- decent sized, and then everybody else is like way smaller drill wise. Yeah, but that's very specific. Yeah, drill wise for sure. Nobody can ever top Chicago because we created it. That was never a drill wave. You never would have heard about that unless they got that shit from the the traumas of our life and the I shit we went through. We were just talking about the street part. Ain't yeah. no drill without the street part. Like, that ain't drill. So, it's just rap. 